Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a pretty crazy video to make for you guys. Apple actually just released today a patch for the 2018 MacBook Pros that supposedly uh, helps to fix the throttling issue that pretty much everyone was experiencing. Now you've seen on our channel, we've done videos covering this and we basically stated that it's not that big of a deal. It can be fixed with software if the fans on the MacBook Pro come on earlier and stronger. And basically, all the other channels were blowing it out of proportion. And it turns out I was partially right on those. So it turns out it was not really a thermal throttling issue in the way of the CPU that we thought. One Reddit user actually figured out that it deals with the VRM within the uh, motherboard and it was overheating, not the CPU, and it wasn't allowing the proper uh, amount of electricity through to the CPU. So um, whatever, I'm not gonna get technical on this video, but uh, I just wanna let you guys know that Pretty much everyone was slightly wrong at some point. Now the fans idea that I had was actually true. Kicking up the fans does help, um, but Apple came out and said that it was actually a bug in the software uh, and they claimed that some key was missing in the code and in that, uh, once they added it, if you apply the patch, it fixes it. So they apparently worked with Dave Lee, Dave 2D, the one that originally made the video. Um, and you can see right here, they said following extensive performance testing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they found out what was happening, a bug fix included in today's uh, High Sierra Supplemental Update is recommended, uh, and they apologize for anyone um, that you know experienced this. So I guess we have to look at this a couple different ways. First of all, should Apple have tested this thoroughly? Absolutely. Um, by the way, I'm gonna throw in some results here in, the, in a minute, just chill. Uh, so should they have tested this? Yes. Did they test it? Who knows? But the thing that I can take away from this is Apple pushed out an update super quickly. Like it hasn't even been a week since this thing launched and they've already got an update fixing this. So that is props to Apple on that, you know? Now, was it because of Dave 2D's video? I don't know. I think they would have done this anyway. I was planning on making the video today saying that I was gonna give Apple one month to do this before I start, you know, shitting on them, but they did it today. That's crazy. I gotta give them props for that. Um, now, next story here. This is about the actual bug fix itself. Uh, so obviously had to include that story here. If you guys wanna read it, go for it. And then finally, tests confirm Apple's throttling fix improves performance on 2018 MacBook Pro models. So as you can see right here, uh, night and day difference. I mean, this is before, this is after. This is what you wanna see uh, from a CPU. Now sure, it's not you know going quite as high, but it's not the spikes. You don't wanna see the spikes like that. And people have noted, hey, uh, with these ex with these temperatures, you know, going extreme, extremely high, and all these jumps, that's really bad for the processor. That's really bad for all the internal components. It will wear out your machine quicker. So this is much better uh, to see overall. And you can see right here, Dave Lee, so much better. Um, now <laughs> the funny thing is, for all you guys that are saying, oh, Apple needs to, you know, put better cooling in. Okay, maybe, but this really wasn't a cooling thing. This was. A software thing which everyone was saying it was a hardware thing and that everyone was returning their i9s if you returned your i9 because of this after two days of use i'm sorry but you kind of deserved it like so enjoy your i7s or whatever you guys got but to all the people that are saying um you know the i9 was trash actually it's not it just needed an update and i was a firm believer that this could be fixed with a software update but anyways i digress dave lee actually said in his video that the dell xps th thermally throttles as well just the same way uh that this one does and well Microsoft hasn't released a fix for theirs. Apple released one within a week. So I'm just gonna put that out there for all you uh, Microsoft fanboys. Uh, yeah, you guys probably will never see a patch from Microsoft for this. Um, so here are some Geekbench scores. Uh, and you guys can see this, this shows pretty well here. Here's factory pre-patch and then 65 watt power limitation post-patch, uh, factory post-patch and then 55 watt power limit post-patch. So you guys can kind of see just how much of an improvement this was. Again, look at these graphs. I mean, that's really all you need to see there. Now, I do have some tests of my own. Of course, I would not go into this video without some tests. So I'm gonna first pop this one open for you guys. Uh, this was, I believe, without the fans running. Um, I took this post patch, so you can take that as you will. I think I did it with the, actually maybe, no, no, no. This one was with the fans going. The one before that was slightly lower. I think it was 22,000, um, but again, Apple wants a quiet computer. Here's this one, and uh, we've got, this was Fortnite. So I was just loading it up, doing an update, as you can see in the background, uh, and look at these. These are pretty flat, and you can see it's it's going actually much higher than it was before. Before it was, you know, undervolting a little down here. Now it was consistently above the 2.9 gigahertz, uh, looking much better here. Utilization low, of course, it was just doing an update, um, but that's that. Now this was a compression or compressor, whatever it's called, uh, I was exporting from there. And you guys can see the frequency looks really good here. 
Um, the utilization is still low. That's just how the program runs, so you can't really fault that. Temperature looks moderate, reasonable, you know, nothing wrong with that. Power looks fine. Uh, frequency, again, that's the main thing we're looking at here. Pretty flat, especially compared to the past. Um, another Fortnite one here. This was waiting to get into the game. Again, all above pretty much the base frequency here. U low utilization, not too bad a temperature. Power gadget looking fine. And then in game, uh, I got about 60 frames per second consistently. Uh, but then when anything happens, like when I was trying to take the screenshot, um, obviously it lagged a little bit. So it was down to 53, but who really cares? Uh, so that was fine. Um, and now I, when I put it on, what was it, high settings, it did hurt the game FPS a little bit. It was down in the 30s, 40s, and sometimes dropped below that. But there was less of the random dipping that it was doing before. Put it on medium uh, and you'll be fine. Again, it doesn't look great, but it is what it is. You're gaming on a Mac and Fortnite is not very optimized for Mac. I just want to point that out. Uh, this one here, this was the Cinebench. Uh, I actually got a really good score and this was with the fans, as you can see, not on high. As you can see, this was about 15 minutes ago. The fans were not on high, they were on auto. And I got 100 frames per second and 946. Now, when I tried to re redo this to replicate it, um, first of all, this score was above every other score on the rank. I know this is for the CPU, though. Secondly, um, yeah, I was I tried to do this again with the fans on all the way, and I could not hit this. I hit like 95 every time. So I can't really explain that, but hitting that was pretty uh, pretty nice to see, especially with this new patch. So. Overall, if you have one of these, definitely get this patch. I mean, come on, go get it. There's no reason not to. It's a one, about 1.5 gigabyte file. It's not terribly huge, but it's also not tiny either. Pretty impressed with how quickly they got this out there. Um, and for all you guys saying, you know, it's about thermal throttling. No, you were wrong. And uh, a lot of people were wrong on this one. This one was something that not a lot of people saw coming, um, but I'm so glad that it was a software fix. And uh, I don't know, haters can keep hating, but People need to stop jumping the gun on this kind of thing. I kind of put my video out there just to kind of quell the fears a little bit, just to kind of calm people down, uh, that it wasn't as bad as people were saying, especially Dave2D. I mean, he went all out on that. Um, just ridiculous, especially these big YouTubers. Like, I understand, you know, you guys got so many freaking subscribers and stuff. You guys got to think this through. You got to actually test stuff, not just throw out a video, you know, the day you find something out. You got to actually do tests. And that's what I do on this channel. Try to do tests. Did want to do uh, just a quick export here. So I will test this to the desktop and we will take a look at this. Whoops, not that. We'll take a look at this and see what it does. Now, these fans are on auto. So it's doing pretty much exactly what I thought it would do. Uh, basically exactly 2.9 gigahertz, the base clock frequency of this. Um, wow, this is just, this is even different than my other video. This is, this is nice. So staying almost exactly at the base right now. I know the first part of this render is actually a little different than the middle. This should be a quick render though. So I'll just leave this, I'll leave it filming. I'm not going to cut anything out here. I want you guys to see this. Um, just to see the difference. You guys can go back and compare it to my other video I just made the other day. That's the great thing about videos is they're still up. You guys can go watch what it was before this and kind of compare it. Now, oh, this is getting really hot. The fans need to freaking kick up. That's one thing Apple needs to do. I still agree and I still stand by what I said. Apple needs to kick these fans up earlier and harder. Um, if it doesn't do it, I'm gonna do it for it because I don't like seeing that 200 degrees up there. That's Fahrenheit, by the way, for all you guys that are being noobs. This is in Celsius. As you can see, there's a C. This is Fahrenheit because I'm in the USA and Celsius doesn't make that much sense. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. But we don't use Celsius here. Um, so we got little dips every now and then, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and... No, let's not, let's not do anything. Let's just let it go. But this is pretty much what I expected to see here. Um, no, none of those crazy lines like before, even though before it wasn't terrible, but this is much more consistent, looking way better. Now, would I like to see it go higher? Absolutely, but uh, let's see what these are at. Oh, they're at 4,000, that's fine. I don't think it's gonna go higher than this. Um, oh, what the heck, let's just do it, just to see if it, hap if it changes anything. I don't think it will for this test, but let's give it a shot. Let's kick them fans up. I'm in a nicely air conditioned room. I am not out in 100 degree heat. So if you're testing this in 100 degree heat, your results may vary. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Then again, if you're 
if you're buying a MacBook Pro, chances are you have good AC in your house. You're not in a third world country, so. Um, temperature, as you can see, is dropping quickly. This seems to be going faster, honestly, but um, slight dip there. But consistent frequency all across the board. I really like to see that, guys. So whatever Apple did, they fixed it, or they fixed the main part of it. Now, I still recommend running your fans and controlling them. I wish Apple would allow us to do it better, like in iStat menus. Um, but overall, this update has been fantastic. And the amount of the time that they turned this around is just insane. So props to Apple for that. Um, this is pretty much done. So there's the results. Boom, there it is looking mighty fine. So, I don't know guys, that's that. Oh, I almost quit that. That would have probably exited this and probably wouldn't have saved my stuff. Oh, so now we jump up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like that. I wonder if it's the fan control thing. Yeah, it probably went a little crazy there. All right, whatever guys. It's late, I'm tired. I gotta edit this and upload it and then get some sleep, so. Those are my tests. If you want to see more tests, let me know. But I think this is definitive and is, you know, as definitive as we can get. And it's very good that Apple did this. And uh, I don't know, I'm pretty happy about it. So let me know you guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Leave this video with a big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.